If you're new here, welcome. Make sure to subscribe. I put up new beauty and lifestyle type videos every other Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. And if you are already subscribed, welcome back. Make sure if you haven't already to hit that little bell icon. It does notify you every time I post and who wouldn't want to be notified? So we have a little change in scenery here. Um, Kyle and I are currently on vacation in Minneapolis. We've been here since Sunday is when we got in. It's currently Thursday and we're leaving tomorrow morning on Friday. Um, but this is our hotel bathroom and it had some really great lighting so I decided I was going to take advantage of that and film a video for you guys. Kind of a slightly weird backdrop here but I will probably take a picture and show you guys just because this mirror and this lighting and this whole counter setup is just absolutely fantastic. I brought in the little dust chair and we're just sitting here in the bathroom filming. Fun times have been had by all. I am really really tired it's currently 8 46 at night we went to mall of america today which if you've never been to the mall of america i definitely recommend you go it's an absolutely fun time um but we were there for about eight hours i've taken over 20,000 steps today and to just give reference i am very lazy and my average like steps per day is around like four to six thousand so I've taken 20,000 steps today. It's been a long day. Before we actually jump into this video, I want to go into a really, really quick story time because it was probably one of the coolest things that has ever happened to me. So if you guys do not follow me on Twitter already, it is at EmilyBeautyXOXO. I always have it linked down below. But I tweeted today that, you know, I wasn't gonna be very active on Twitter because we were going to the Mall of America to spend the day there and that I was very excited. Well, the official Mall of America Twitter account tweeted me back just basically saying like, oh, like, hope you have a great time type thing, um, which I thought was really cool. I think that companies who utilize social media, like if they're not already a social media based company, like a lot of the small businesses I follow obviously use a lot of their social media because that's what they are. They're an online presence. But companies like that, like the Mall of America, you know, utilizing their, their Twitter like that or their Instagram, you know, whatever to reach out to their customers basically because that's what you are when you go there you are their customer it's just a really cool tool um so anyway to go kind of go back into it so you know i tweeted back because we were there by the time i got that tweet and i tweeted back you know yeah we're having a blast like thank you everything like that and they responded with you know so glad to hear that go down to the the east service desk and we've got a little surprise for you and i was like okay <laughs> like it was kind of odd um and I, I asked I was like do, do I just give them my name and they're like yep yeah, just tell them you're Emily and I was like okay so you know we make our way down to the service desk and we were going in that direction anyway because of what we wanted to do but we made our way over to the service desk and I told the lady behind the desk I was like this is gonna sound really weird but your Twitter page told me to come here I'm Emily and I showed her the tweet and she's like, oh yeah, of course, let me go grab it. And you know, here I am thinking it's gonna be like, oh, here's $2 off of a mini golf for, you know, $3 off if you go to this restaurant. Something really small and kind of arbitrary. You know, something very nice, obviously, but I wasn't expecting anything huge. And she comes out with this box, this little box. And unfortunately, I don't have the box. I had to get rid of it just because I couldn't carry it around with me all day. But I do have all of the contents inside of it. Well. Kind of, sort of. I'll explain. Um, I did post pictures, though. If you do want to go check it out, they are on my Twitter. But there's this little box um, that said Mall of America on it. And then it actually had a post-it note on it that said Emily Beauty XOXO, which I just thought was so cool. Then I opened the box. And first and foremost is this little handwritten card from them that says, Hi, Emily. We are absolutely thrilled to have you here with us today. We hope you have the best day ever. The MOA social team. So that, you know, right there just was so cool. And I felt so like jazzed about it. Like I got this little handwritten note from them. So then we're kind of looking through the box, um, me and my boyfriend, and I'm gonna kind of get into what they gave me. So first was, this is an NYX um, little, it's a little palette. It is their Nude on Nude Natural Look Kit. So it's got, ooh. Lovely palette. I did swatch it, so that's why that middle one's kind of messed up. Oh, hello. Look, there you guys are. Um, so there's that, and then you pull it out down here. It's got a little 
like the little, ooh, this little baby lip brush, little eyeshadow brush, and then a couple lips. Um, so that was really cool. I was pretty excited for that. Plus, I really like that it has a mirror, which is really nice for like traveling and everything like that. And then they gave me this humongo coupon book, coupon, coupon book, um, full of just coupons for almost all of the stores, restaurants, and things to do in Mall of America. I, I think we used only like three of the coupons in this just because there are so many and we didn't plan on doing a lot of shopping, but it was really nice. We got some off for the aquarium. There was some for dinner. Um, you know, lots, so much. It's good through all of 2018. So like maybe if I know anybody going, I'll let them borrow it. The other things that they gave to us, which I did not include um, in this because I don't actually have them, were they gave us two passes to a mini golf, which was a lot of fun. It was a black light mini golf. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And then they gave us two bands to go to. There's a mus an amusement park in the Mall of America. It's all Nickelodeon themed. It was actually really cool. Um, but they gave us two bands. They each had 48 points on them. So we got to do about six rides. And all in all, I mean, honestly, guys, this was over $100 worth of stuff. I was shocked i'm still shocked i don't understand why they felt i deserved this but like thank you a million times over to them because we had the absolute best day we actually weren't going to go to the amusement park just because it was a little bit pricey and we'd already done kind of some pricier things on our vacation so that like totally made our day and i just want to tell you guys about that because i just thought it was like wickedly cool um but yeah social media is so such a mind-blowing thing to be utilizing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little story time. Why don't we actually get into the video? So before I actually left on vacation, I tweeted a few different video types that I asked you guys if you wanted to see while I was on vacation. And one of the ones that you guys seemed really interested in is my travel, skincare, and makeup essentials. So that is what today's video is going to be. We're going to talk about all of the things that I was like, I absolutely must bring this with me. Now, obviously, we the blah, blah, blah. Now, because we don't live that far from Minneapolis, we did drive here. So that definitely made my traveling and my packing a lot easier. This is definitely for the type of trips if you have more space and you are going to be driving. If you're going to be flying, you may have to tailor some of this, um, partially because of like actual fluid ounce restrictions and everything like that. But this is definitely good for if you know you're going on a week trip like we are where you're driving somewhere or even a weekend trip. But basically, these are my essentials that I needed to bring with me to survive this week while we were on vacation. So all of my skincare is in this little bag here. We actually got this. We bought a new luggage set um, right before we went on vacation because we didn't have like an official adult luggage set. So we bought this one or I mean we bought this set. It came with a large suitcase, a duffel bag, a like kind of carry-on type bag, and then this thing which the official term I think it's like actually called a doofa. Pretty sure that's the official name. But this is where all my skincare is. And all of my makeup is in this handy little case. I bought this a few weeks ago. No, actually, it's like a month ago now. I bought this on my birthday at Ulta. It was one of their little kits. It did come with makeup in it, but it's also just this really nice zip case, which was really, really great for travel. It's part of the reason I actually was like swayed to buy this is because I knew it would be really nice for bringing my makeup with me on trips, and I knew we were going on this trip. So, super nice. Well, we're gonna start with skincare. I'm gonna position that right there. All right, I'm just gonna kind of grab stuff and go through it here. So, first and foremost, I take off my makeup every night starting with micellar water. Um, I don't typically use this one. I used to use this one, but then I switched to using the Simple Refresh. However, the Simple Travel one that you can find, which is like the darker green cap, I don't like that one. That one hurts my eyes. So I grabbed one of these Garnier Micellar Travel ones, which is super nice. I really like these. Um, part of what I like these is the squeeze top is really like able to be controlled. But this is how I take off my makeup. I also just like using this, even if I wasn't wearing makeup, to just cleanse my face in general and get kind of the dirt, grime, and everyday grossness off of my face. So always make sure I bring some type of micellar water with me to remove my makeup. To go along with that, I also do use just little cotton rounds. I do prefer when I'm actually at home, I have bigger cotton squares to take off all of my makeup, but for travel, these are way more convenient. Um, they're just very simple little cotton rounds. 
I put a little micellar water on this and wipe off my whole face. It actually usually takes about two when I'm wearing a full face just because they are kind of tiny. I know cotton rounds are not great for the environment and I have tried, I have like one of the makeup removing towels. I just don't like it as much. I don't feel like it's as effective. Um, I did actually win one in a giveaway and I do use it occasionally, but I still prefer the micellar water and the cotton round. However, if anybody has like an alternative to cotton rounds with something more reusable that I can use with my micellar water, please do let me know because I would definitely be down to learn about that. Next, I always use a toner on my face too. Um, and of course you can buy little toners that are kind of like the same as the micellar water where they're in a little bottle. Um, but I decided to bring with me my Crazy Essential Crazy Essentials Rose Water Facial Mist. I really like this because it is a toner, but it is also a facial mist, so it was kind of a two for one for me because I really like to use this as a setting spray as well. I do use a regular setting spray, but I do this first and this really helps just like melt all of my makeup together. So I thought this was a really nice two for one where I could have a toner and I could also have a setting spray slash facial, facial mist. So an all-in-one. Um, so I definitely love bringing this. She does have other options. If you don't like the rose water, you can also get her Willow, what is that? I think it's just Willow Mist, Willow Facial Mist. But that one's also really nice if you are not a rose water person. Personally, I like rose water. I think it just smells really nice and really, feels really nice on my face. These products are in no particular order, by the way. I just have them all packed in my bag um, because we're leaving tomorrow. So I'm like slowly packing everything up. So I'm just kind of grabbing and like going for stuff. Anyway, next product. Um, this got really weird inside. Sorry. <laughs> next product. This is an actual face wash. This is my JDS Naturals Dark Wash. Um, I did want to bring like a more official face wash because I know the micellar water doesn't get my skin 100% clean. So this one is really nice. This has this is the facial wash that I facial facial wash that I've been using on the daily anyway. So I definitely brought this with me um, because it has the cap that stays on really nice. It is good for travel. Um, so I really like this one. Of course, like this product, actually all three of these, you could not fly with because they are over the fluid ounce um, allotment that you can have. I know it's three fluid ounces and this is actually 3.4. But if you do use these products, you can buy your own little travel bottles that are like TSA approved. So if you wanted to bring these, you could, like I said, because I was driving, not flying, I could bring all of these. Um, but just a little quick blurb on that. But yeah, face wash, really nice. Like it. Spot cream. Um, so this is just the Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment. I actually just picked this up before our trip because I have been breaking out down here absolutely crazily. So I grabbed this. Um, I have been liking it so far. I've been using it actually in the morning and at night. It has got benzoyl peroxide in it. Um, so it does just kind of like dry and tighten when you put it on. But I do definitely notice that everything is clearing up down here a lot. It's still there, but we're getting a lot better. So I definitely think having some sort of spot treatment or acne treatment with you, if you do tend to break out is definitely a good thing. Especially because when you're on vacation, there's a lot of stress which can make you break out. You're probably not eating your best. I know I haven't been, which can also make you break out. So definitely having some sort of acne treatment or even if it's just like an, a face wash that has the benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid, something acne related if you're prone to breakouts, just to help keep your skin looking fresh. Next, we have one of my um, one of my lotions. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, and it does have sunscreen, which is why I do like using this every day. It's only got an SPF 15, which isn't super duper high. It's not the strongest you can get, but I do think it helps. I usually go for this first on my face as a base. Um, it also does have hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for moisturization, and my skin is very dry, so I definitely like this. This is an everyday product for me as well, so it definitely had to come with me. Um, but I think that skincare is super, super important even while you're traveling. Make sure you have, at least, at the very minimum, make sure you bring with you some type of face wash and some type of moisturizer to keep your skin looking fresh. I pretty much brought my like entire skincare routine with me. I made sure to bring at least one of everything. I do have a lot of products, so I switch out, but I brought my absolute favorites with me on this trip. So that's kind of what's in this video here. 
Next, we have my other moisturizer. This is the Studio 35 Beauty Oil-Free Sensitive Skin Moisturizing Lotion. I love this stuff. I use it every day and every night. I've talked about this in videos before. Um, I like this because it's a really lightweight lotion, so it definitely hydrates, but it doesn't feel really thick and like clogging on my skin. So I definitely wanted to make sure I brought this one along. I absolutely love this lotion. Um, I do also like they do have an SPF version as well, which I have used in the past. Both work very nicely. I would interchange them. It really just tends to be whatever Walgreens has available because this is a Walgreens brand item. Um, it's actually like a quote unquote dupe of a Neutrogena lotion. Um, if you like a lot of like the higher end products, but you don't want to spend the money on them, Studio 35 Beauty is usually a really good dupe for it because they have almost the same basic active ingredients. It's just a little bit cheaper because you're not paying for name brand. Just a little, little tip for you guys. Um, but yeah, I definitely like to use this. I usually go in with the Neutrogena first and then I use this one. Um, at night, I just go in with this one because I don't wear SPF to bed. Not really necessary. Okay, we're going to make this kind of a four in one here. I do a face mask pretty much every night or morning. Um, it's pretty much a daily routine for me at this point. And I have a lot of Terabusi Creek masks. Um, and then I have also my Crazy Essentials mask. I brought kind of my top three that I really wanted to go in with. And then I brought my Phoenix scrub from her. Um, I chose the Lemon Green Tea Facial Mask from Crazy Essentials because it's super duper hydrating, which I definitely wanted something pretty hydrating while I was on vacation. And then I brought the Ocean Mist Mac. Um, it's also hydrating, but it's also really detoxing for me. So I wanted something that I knew would kind of clean my face at the end of the night. Um, I've been really using this one. I've used the Mary's Mask once as well because the Mary's Mask is also super duper hydrating. Although having some slight issues with this one, um, I'm not gonna really go into it in this video. It's just not reacting super duper well with my face. Nothing against the product. I absolutely love stuff and I love Terabusi Creek. I love all of her products. This one, we're just, we're having some issues. We're trying to work them out here, me and this mask. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had some very hydrating options and then one pretty good detox one. And then like I said, I also brought the Phoenix scrub. Uh, this is her char charcoal and lava sea salt scrub. Um, the only thing to be careful with this one, because it is a salt scrub, it has burned in a couple spots where I have like some pimples that are slowly starting to heal up and like whatnot. Um, but no, I really like this one. It's got a really nice deep scrub and I like using it. I don't go in with this every day. Um, I usually keep this to like an every other day or every couple of days, but I wanted to make sure I had something very nice and exfoliating because exfoliating and hydrating are super duper important for me because I do suffer from dry skin. The other thing, real quick to go with the masks is my little silicone applicator. Um, these aren't 100% great for applying masks because they do get a little bit weird around like the nose and some of the crevices, but they are nice for kind of smoothing over the biggest parts of your face and they do help you save some product because they're a little silicone applicator. So um, you can get these for pretty cheap. I think I got one for a couple of bucks. This actually came with a mask that I bought and I like it because it's kind of pointed up here a little bit, like rounds off really nicely. But I would definitely recommend bringing one of these along too, or just having one of these in general. My last product, part of my skincare essentials, is my Solana Luxe Garden Fairy Beauty Oil. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it every night and every morning. It is such, such a nice product. It feels so nice on my face. It does not leave me feeling gross and oily, which I love. I have been super duper into facial oils ever since I purchased my first one. I just think that they are absolutely lovely products, especially if you have dry skin. Um, so I love using this. It keeps my face really hydrated at night. And then I also love using it under makeup, actually. Um, sometimes I use a primer and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just leave this like as my primer, which gives me such a like dewy, natural finish. It doesn't look too cakey. It doesn't look too heavy. It looks like just a very, very light foundation application. Today I did use primer um, because I wanted the longevity, but this stuff is just an everyday staple. It's not even just a travel essential. It's just a life essential. If you do not have this, I highly recommend picking it up. It is one of my favorite oils. This is my second bottle of it. She's actually having a sale right now, 30% um, off. If it's still running while when this video uploads, I'll definitely make sure to link 
her site down below. Otherwise, any other time you want to purchase it, you can use my code Emily10, Emily10. I'm not just shamelessly plugging this because I'm part of her team. I actually do legitimately just love this product. It also smells so good. It smells like tea, like chamomile. So that is my travel essentials. We are going to move right now, wait, travel essentials. That is my skincare travel essentials. Now we're gonna move into makeup. All right, so let's go ahead and move into makeup. So kind of like the, the skincare, um, which a lot of my essentials are like my everyday favorites anyway, the makeup's gonna be pretty similar in that sense. No, look how nice this box is. It even has a mirror. Again, there you guys are. Um, it has a mirror and it's got these little pouches that you can put brushes in. I don't currently have anything in there right now because I keep all my brushes in this orange thing, but super nice. Hi. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna, I'm gonna shuffle this around a little bit. So I'm gonna go kind of in order of my face. Hmm? So first and foremost, this is the Revlon yeah, Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I really, really like this. This was, um, I actually picked this up as a recommendation from one of my favorite YouTubers, The Taylor. Um, this is really nice for pore reducing. So I do have fairly large pores and I do sometimes like a more mattifying primer just to help kind of keep everything set and looking nice. Sometimes if I go too dewy, it kind of makes me look like oily and sweaty in a bad way. So this one's really, really nice for keeping your pores small, keeping everything really smooth when you're applying your face, um, especially because when you start getting into like blush and highlight and everything like that, the more stuff you start putting on your face, especially powders, can look more heavy on your pores. So definitely like bringing this one with. Um, this is one of my favorite go-to primers anyway, so that's definitely why I wanted to make sure I brought this one along. Next we have foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the shade 110 Porcelain, which is a little on the yellow side for me. I'm like struggling hardcore to find a good foundation match for me. I actually just bought the ColourPop No Filter Foundation today. Bought it in the shade 10, Fair 10. Um, we're gonna see how that goes. There, I'm like really psyched because they have 42 shades, but their shades are kind of odd because they do have like shade matching. You can like pick your undertone and then pick like your shade because they have fair, light, I think it's fair, light, medium, deep, and deep, if I recall, I think. Um, and then you can pick your undertone, either warm, cool, or neutral. I'm a more neutral undertone, which is why I struggle because a lot of drugstores either go for a yellow undertone or a peach undertone, less of a neutral undertone. Um, so this one is a little bit yellow, but when I was using the matching, if I wanted fair and neutral, they're like, you can have 05 or you can have 30. And in between 05 and 30 is 10, 15, and 20. That, that's a lot of shades. And I felt 05 was gonna be too light for me because even though I am pale, I don't want to look like washed out. Um, and I felt like 05 was going to be on the light side and I felt like 30 was going to be way too dark So I actually ended up going with 10 which is going to be a cool undertone because I figured Cool is going to be better than warm because they do end up kind of yellow on me like this one here But this one I can tone down with some powder and it looks okay, obviously Right now I look okay Anyway, wow long change of thing. That's what happens when I get really tired is I just go onto these long winded little rinse there but um i was using the matte and poreless but i wanted to try the dewy and smooth to see if i like that better fun fact i do not i actually prefer the matte and poreless even though i usually end up with a more dewy finish because i do use like my facial oil underneath and i do um my actually crazy essentials facial mist that helps make things dewier as well so i don't like this formula as much but I ran out of my matte and poreless and I brought this one with me instead. Um, I didn't want to pick up another bottle of that until I used this one. But it's not, it's not bad. This one just is a little bit harder for me to blend out. Um, so I would say my actual true travel essential would be the matte and poreless. But if you have more dry skin and you prefer a dewy finish, I do think this one is nice. You just have to work with it a little bit more to blend it and make it look nicer when it blends. Next we have concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one is in the shade Fair Neutral 1-0. That's the other part of the reason I went with 1-0 on the foundation because I feel like this looks pretty nice and it does oxidize slightly. 
So I really like this concealer. This is my everyday go-to concealer. I have been using this ever since they released this and I tried it out. I love this concealer. It is so creamy and it blends so well. I do get some creasing under here, but I have yet to find a concealer I don't get creasing with, so that doesn't bother me too much. Um, but I definitely like this one. I did pick up another one of these when I bought my foundation today, although I did because I got the 1-0 foundation, I did take a step down on concealer and I think I got the 0, zero 6, I think because I actually ex expanded these as well to have more shades and more undertones and everything like that, so we're going to try out, I think it was 0, 6. Um, once that foundation actually arrives, I'm doing a full video on that, so we'll get into that, but love this concealer, it is definitely my go-to favorite, so it's definitely part of my trap girl essentials. Next, this is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Um, because I knew we were going to be doing some like outdoor activities, like we did some hiking and some park stuff, um, and I knew there was gonna be some sweating involved because it is summertime, I definitely wanted to bring a good setting powder with me, and this one is really nice. Um, I like this one a lot because I don't find it makes me look super cakey when I apply it. It definitely blends in really smoothly and really flawlessly. So it's a great setting powder for that. Um, I also like, a lot of setting powders have a weird smell. This one does not. This one just smells kind of fresh. It smells kind of like, like fresh nothingness, if that makes any sense. Um, but so I think the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder is really nice. Um, Beauty Bakery is a little bit on the pricier side, but their products are dedicated to longevity. They want their products to last. They expect their products to last on your skin. So I think if you're looking for a good setting powder, especially for travel, invest in this one. I would say it's worth it. Next, we're going to get into blush. So this is the NARS Blush in Orgasm. Um, I got this as my birthday gift from Ulta and it's a little travel blush. Well, it's actually just supposed to be a sample. However, it makes the perfect travel blush and I absolutely love this. It's also their little mirror, which is just the cutest thing. Um, having, I think having a little blush and like a little bronzer, if you're into bronzer, is nicer than bringing the bigger ones. A, they have a less tendency to break. B, they take up less space. C, which is freaking cute. Um, so I believe you can buy smaller ones of these. I believe I saw them in Sephora today. Um, otherwise, I mean, there are samples out there, but some sort of smaller blush. And I would definitely say, I mean, I'm the type of person that sticks with like the same blush every day anyway, but if you switch between colors, I would definitely just stick to like a nice neutral color for your travel blush. But this is definitely mine. I have been using this on the daily, but it's the cutest, littlest, perfect thing for travel. Next, we have highlighter. So this is the Crazy Essentials Highlight Drops in the shade Elixir Power. This is a little sample that I got from her. Um, her normal bottles are a, a one ounce? Yeah, a one ounce, but she also has a half ounce. Um, so, I mean, mine at home is like about that big. But I have this shade in a one ounce, and I have another shade in the one else. I can't think of what that one's called, but this one's my favorite. It's a really, really pretty gold one, and I'm lucky enough to have a little sample bottle, so it is perfect for travel, um, but I would definitely bring my big one along with me too because I just absolutely love this shade. I think if you're going to travel, find a really nice neutral highlight that you can wear on the daily and bring that one with you because this is what I'm wearing now, and it just looks super duper nice. Please don't mind kind of some of the redness on my face, though I am a little sunburned. But I absolutely love this. I think a, for me personally, a gold highlight is what I tend to go to for like my daily, daily highlight. Um, the other one I have, it's kind of like a more pinky um, and that one is really pretty. And I do every once in a while like to do kind of like an iridescent pearly one, but this gold is definitely my go-to. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's my favorite. We're going to talk about sponges next. So I like the Real Technique sponge. This one here. I also, they've, they make this little travel, travel case one. So I bought this specifically for this vacation, but also just because I really wanted this travel container because it's so nice. Um, you, I got mine from Target, I believe. It was $6.99. So normally you can get two sponges for like $10.99, I think. One for $5.99, something like that. Or you can get this for $6.99. And it's just this really, really cute compact case that you can keep your beauty blender in because I've always struggled with traveling with beauty blenders no longer 
So this is definitely my go-to sponge. I like this sponge a lot. The other sponge I really like, this is um, another of their sponges. I use this one for concealer. I normally use it dry, not damp, but it is damp right now because I cleaned it earlier. Um, but this one's really nice for concealer under eyes right there or just for little kind of spots. I also use it to kind of touch up around my eyes if I mess up or anything like that. So I definitely think if you are a sponge person, have a big sponge, but also get one of these little baby sponges. They are just perfect for under eye concealer. We're not gonna go too into depth with these two products just because these are my everyday, so of course I'm gonna bring these. Um, but this is my everyday eyeliner. It is the Ulta Beauty, well, I think it's their gel liner in black. It's getting so small that I can't even fully read it. Um, and then this is the Alme One Cult one coat multi benefit mascara this is my favorite everyday mascara as well um, i like it just because i feel like it gives me a fullness and length all in one plus it doesn't make it look too clumpy let's talk about eyeshadow so i brought the ColourPop i think i love you palette because i do the same eyeshadow pretty much every day um, I really do though because I'm a very simple girl with very simple eyeshadow abilities so I really like this palette because it allows me to create the same look while also adding some difference to it um, but basically I go in with this shade which is fancy face and then I that's my like all over lid shade I deepen the crease slightly with screw it do I have this right I think so yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's screw it. Um, and then I use like one of these shimmers on like just like my base lid. Sometimes I do a crease. Or I, sometimes I cut the crease. Sometimes I do a half cut crease. But either way, this one for me is great because I can create a lot of neutral looks, but I can add that shimmer and make it fun. Um, but it's a great everyday palette. I'm wearing it now, actually. I used, which one did I go in with today? Oh, it was this one. Kyle picked it, actually. Girls bite. I also though brought the Amazonia palette. This is from Hush. Um, just because it does have some more fun colorfuls in there. This isn't the most pigmented palette and you really have to work with it to make it really pop. But Passion Fruit and Toucan can be really fun colors to play with to create kind of like a colorful orangey look. Um, so I wanted to bring something a little bit colorful, but mostly neutral because that's kind of my everyday go-to. So those were my two palette choices. Um, plus they're both on the smaller side, so I knew that they would travel well. I do keep them in their boxes still actually. I just took them out for the sake of this video, but I feel like traveling with them in their boxes is a little bit safer. Next, this is, I actually don't use this on the daily. Typically my setting spray, I have an Ulta one, um, or I use just my Crazy Essentials Facial Mist, but for this trip, I did bring the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spit. <laughs> For this trip, I did bring the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray because it is really good for making your makeup last, which I wanted to. Um, with you know knowing we'd be out for long periods of the day and we did some hiking and we went to parks and there was a lot of outside stuff, so I knew I would be sweating and you know my makeup would eventually smear off and rub a little bit, but I brought this with to help prevent some of that. And I definitely think it did. My fan, my foundation actually looks pretty good right now. And we went on a water ride today and it's still pretty in place. I did touch up slightly before filming, but otherwise like all of this still looks pretty good. So I think one really good setting spray is a great thing to have. I know this one is very popular. Um, find one that works for you because not everything works for every skin and that's okay. Um, but I definitely think finding one really good setting spray to bring with you is important. I'm just going to kind of two for one this because they're both kind of small miscellaneous products. Um, this is my lip color remover by NYX. I love this stuff. It gets even the stubbornness of lip colors off. Um, you just use a little bit, massage it in, and then be gone. Wipe it away. The other product is my e.l.f. Eyelid primer. So this one is slightly tinted, which I kind of like. It helps create a nice base. Um, but it's always just nice to make sure you have an eyeshadow primer with you. Or you can use concealer if you really don't want to pack one. But I don't like to waste my concealer, so this is a little bit nicer. We also have my Crazy Essentials Overnight Renewal Lip Therapy because this stuff does leave my lips feeling very soft. 
Um, it is in this container. It does not normally come in this container. However, it comes in the squeeze tube and my squeeze tube split open on the bottom because I just used way too much pressure, I guess. So I found this really cute little thing here. It's actually supposed to be for pills, it says on the bottom, but I put my lip therapy in it and it's been working really well for me actually. This isn't exactly makeup, but it's not exactly skincare, but I did want to include it. Um, this is my JDS Naturals Rollerball Perfume in the scent of Honeysuckle. If you watched my last video, um, I'll link it up in the eye there as well. Um, but this, I, I talked about some of the products that JDS Naturals sent to me, and this is one of them. And I talked about how I was going to bring it on my vacation for travel because it's adorable, and I did. It travels super nicely. It's so compact. And I don't have to worry about it spilling because it's just a little rollerball. Um, but I've been using this every day. Absolutely love it. I definitely think you should pick one of these up. Keep it in your purse. Like, keep it with you everywhere. You always want a small cut. Last thing we're going to talk about is lip color. I own probably 50 different lip colors. Um, but I narrowed it down to four just to bring with me. So, this one... This is the Ultra Blotted Lip from ColourPop in the color Doozy. is my favorite go-to lip color. It looks so nice, so natural. Their Ultra Blotted Formula may be my favorite from them because they are so soft and natural and just leave like a slight dance of color. Um, Doozy is my favorite color though. It looks so, so beautiful and natural. It's just like a very nice, kind of like berry type color. Um, the next color I brought, it's another ultra blotted lip from ColourPop. This is in the color Slide. I'm actually wearing it right now. This one's a little bit more on the pinky side, so it's a little bit actually softer. It's not quite as vibrant as Doozy is. Um, they are both buildable though, which is really nice. But I wanted to bring something a little bit pinkier, a little bit softer, just for my kind of more subtle looks. And then I brought this. This is the Revlon Ultra HD. This is in the color... In, in Trante? In, in Trante? In Trante? I'm not entirely sure actually. Um, but this is more, it's kind of hard to tell what the frost is. But it's kind of on the nudier side. You guys can see it here. Whoa. Swatch. Oh, it's slightly crooked. Um, it's kind of on a more like nudier. It's a slightly pinky nude, but it's definitely a more natural color out of all of them. So I wanted to bring something a little more on the natural side. And lastly, we brought the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the color Berry Pop. I brought this one because I wanted something that I knew I would put on my lips and would last me for hours, and this definitely does. Um, I wore this actually, we went on a boat tour yesterday, and I threw this on, and it lasted me through the entire tour and eating pizza. So, shout out to this. I actually ordered more of these because the formula and longevity of these is so nice. So, I definitely make, I would definitely make sure when you're packing, if you like lip colors, Bring a bold, which this is kind of my bold. Bring something that's gonna long, like last you a really long time, like a really good long lasting formula, like this one. Bring a favorite every day, which is the Doozy by ColourPop for me. And then just bring another kind of fun color, um, which is my, which is the, the slide by ColourPop, the ultra blotted lip. Oh, and actually number five, bring, um, bring like a nude, just a very natural one. So. That is definitely what I did. I'm sorry guys, I'm like really, really trying to stay awake right now, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting really tired and I've been talking for about 45 minutes now, so my brain is just slowly, slowly shutting down. It's, let's see, it's 9.30. It's definitely time for me to go to bed. All right, so that is my travel, skincare, and makeup essentials. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite essentials for traveling are, whether it be makeup, whether it be skincare, even body care, or even if you have a really cute pair of shoes that you're like, I always have to bring these with me. Let me know down in the comments. We'll discuss. Are you going on any fun vacations this summer? Let's just, let's talk down below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. I really do appreciate it. It lets me know what kind of content you guys do want to see. If there is any content you ever want to see, like any types of content, you can either let me know down in the comments or you can always tweet me. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys want to see because obviously I create videos not just for me but for you guys to enjoy as well. But I think that is about it. I will see you guys in a couple of weeks on Sunday. Thank you again for watching. Bye.